Russia preparing to deploy devastating Satan II nuclear missiles capable of wiping out area the size of UK. Russia is preparing to deploy its devastating intercontinental ballistic missile, dubbed Satan II, by this autumn, the country's military has claimed. Dmitry Rogozin, head of the Roscosmos Space Agency, revealed the Kremlin's ambitious target to launch the Sarmat ICBM only days after Russia test launched the missile. Putin watching the launch of the missile credit, Reuters. The deadly projectile, nicknamed Satan II, can fly 11,000 miles credit, Reuters. The deadly projectile, nicknamed Satan II, can fly 11,000 miles, carry more than 12 warheads and has the potential to destroy an area the size of the United Kingdom. Rigozin said a unit is to be deployed to Uzur, around 1,800 miles east of Moscow, with a Satan II later this year, according to the state-run TASS news agency. Russia successfully test-launched the missile on Wednesday with video showing the enormous 115-foot missile being launched from an underground silo, triggering an enormous fireball. It traveled almost the entire length of Russia, almost 3,600 miles, in around 15 minutes. The missile landed at Kuro missile test range on the Kamchatka Peninsula in the far east of the country, according to Russian defense sources. The launch of the Sarmat intercontinental ballistic missile will give food for thought for those who try to threaten Russia, the Russian president warned. The separate warheads in the Satan II missile are capable of detaching from the main 100-ton missile before traveling towards their targeted hypersonic speeds. The bombs are 1,000 more powerful than those dropped by the US on Hiroshima and Nagasaki in Japan during World War II. This means they are capable of pulverizing an area the size of England and Wales or Texas in the USA. Just one of them contains 8 megatons of TNT equivalent explosive power. Officials said the RS-28 Sarmat has the capability to use trajectories and unpredictable routes that substantially impede their destruction even by advanced missile defense systems according to the Kremlin. Russia's defense ministry bragged that the Sarmat ICBM is able to overcome any missile defense systems. Thanks to the energy mass characteristics of the missile, the range of its combat equipment has fundamentally expanded both in terms of the number of warheads and types, including hypersonic gliders, the ministry said in a statement. Douglas Berry, senior fellow for military aerospace at the International Institute for Strategic Studies, said Russia's option of firing it over either of the Earth's poles could pose as an obstacle to ground and satellite-based radar and tracking systems, Reuters reported. But the military experts said the proposed timeline to deploy by the end of the year is ambitious. He believes more testing will be needed before Russia is able to deploy the catastrophic weapon. A growing band of Kremlin insiders fear their Russian leader will resort to nuclear weapons to defeat Ukraine and halt a palace coup, reports say. Some elite members in Moscow are also questioning President Vladimir Putin's invasion of its neighbor and its economic and political impact. Putin's critics are spread across senior positions in government and state-run business, according to Bloomberg who cited 10 sources with direct knowledge of the situation. His opponents believe the war against Ukraine has been a terrible blunder and will set Russia back decades. During an interview on Tuesday, Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov didn't give a direct answer to repeated questions on whether Russia might use nuclear weapons in Ukraine. The interim U.S. ambassador to the U.K., Philip Reeker, told Sky News, well, as our director of central intelligence, Bill Burns, said in open testimony last week, this is something we have to be concerned about. So certainly it's something we have to watch very closely, the kind of brutality that Putin has enacted, we've seen it before, but it's hard to imagine what he's doing. And it seems like there's very little that would stop him, particularly when he makes those kinds of threats. The former British ambassador to Ukraine, Lee Turner said, if Russia is visibly losing this war, it could be that Putin would authorize their use. Boris Johnson has said that the UK was looking at sending tanks to support Poland as it supplies Ukraine with heavy weaponry. The Prime Minister made the embassy announcement at a news conference in Delhi, where he was holding talks with Indian leader Narendra Modi. General Sir Chris Deverell, former commander of the UK's Joint Forces Command, has said, I don't think it's a crazy idea. A unit is to be deployed to Uzur with the Satan II later this year credit, EPA. Western military experts say the goal of deploying by the end of the year is ambitious credit, AFP.